But first, the Illinois State Ambulance Association is calling for more funding to avoid long wait times. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Rebecca Brumfield and I'm Shelby Roberts. Our shop note and shows us how a combination of burnout and underfunding could lead to longer wait times for an ambulance. Well, Rebecca Shelby, the CEO of Advanced Medical Transport in Peoria tells me they were shortchanged $8 million last year. He says the industry can't take it much longer. Staffing shortages and a lack of reimbursements. Two problems the CEO of Advanced Medical Transport in Peoria says are affecting the ambulance industry. He says 25% of his staff left last year for better paying jobs. But the burnout associated from COVID has been a market, uh, has had significant impacts on our, our company. He says 80% of patients have Medicare or Medicaid, which reimburses just 28 to 32 cents per dollar. So those dollars of under reimbursed services provided are lost opportunities to reimburse our employees a fair wage. President of Illinois State Ambulance Association is calling for the state to allocate $55 million to offset pandemic costs and for Medicare to increase their reimbursements. We've had, we've had injured, increased expenses, whether it's related to paying hazard pay, whether it's related to the, the uh, PPE. Rand says it's a way to avoid a potential catastrophe. Something has to snap. And either we get more reimbursement uh, for the services that we provide, uh, or some of us will, will face slowdowns in our service response times. In East Peoria, it's a different scenario. We're not federally funded. We are a municipal fire department. Zimmerman says they are able to offset the ambulance costs through the city. But he says they are dealing with burnout, too. Our guys are tired. They've worked a lot of long hours with the last couple years. He says there were 100 applicants in 2004, compared with just 15 applicants in the last testing cycle. And Rand says Advanced Medical Transport will offer its first Learn to Earn program in April to attract new candidates. 20 students from the Tri-County will be paid to go to school and intern with a job guaranteed at the end. Rebecca. 